Because it feels kind of close. You get the sensation that we're getting there. But at the same time, it's still a long way off. I mean, we've got all of Akala to finish. So we've got Akala to do. We've got the Sky to do. Uh, the, well, sorry. We've got the Akala Lookout Tower to find. Then we've got the Akala Sky to do. Then after that, we've got the Korok Seeds to find. Then after that, we've got the Depths to Earth face. Oh, Ooh, okay. Get to where I... Oh, Link. oh, I'm going to lose a bunch of hearts here, aren't I? Ow. Uh... Fine, I'm too stubborn to teleport now. Let's... Wait, didn't I lose three hearts? Oh, well. Boing. That said, like I've said before, if it's a toss-up between the Master Sword or a lightsaber, I'd take the Blade of Evil's Bane any day. I'm more of a Zelda fan than a Star Wars fan. More of a Star Trek fan than a Star, or a Star Wars fan. More Well, I was more of a Doctor Who fan than I was of a Star Trek fan as well. But both franchises seem to be uh, very run into the ground at this point, so... We'll see, then. We'll see. Still can't believe the Goblin song, but whatever. I, I, sure, it's... If people enjoy it, let people enjoy it, but I can't, I just, uh, it's one of those things that it's just, uh, I, yeah. It seems more like the Mighty Boosh than it does Doctor Who, I must admit. Um, we just need a gorilla as the companion now. What I'm talking about, a gorilla companion in Doctor Who, that'd be bleeding amazing. Doctor Who and... Time Lord who travels through time and space with his gorilla companion. Bon job. Nope, not going with that word. That sounds a bit too close. Never ignore what I've just said. <laughs> his name is Bojo, the banjo playing gorilla. Yes, that's that's the name he actually has. Uh, hello, you're a Franks. You're a blue white Franks. I'm going to have a bad time, aren't I? Uh, da, 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 da. I need a smashy smashy. Uh, that looks smashy smashy. Hey. That's not very smashy smashy. What about this? Oh, Matron! Ow! Oh, did Frook! Oh, fantastic. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> I get it. Okay, I don't get if I get that. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a carry on. Hey, there we go. NCO does have a bit of Kenneth Williams about it. Really? I mean, I'll take it as a compliment, but really? <laughs> oh, and here I always thought I had a bit of John Cleese about me. Right, um, let's face it, in all actuality, I'm the police. I'm the police officer from Aloha Low. <laughs> Or Blackadder. Probably Blackadder, if nothing else, I suppose.
Oh, not going with that. Right, okay. So. Da -da. Actually, smash. Oh. Oh dear, what's being clipped now? It always unnerves me when people clip things because you never know. It's like roulette. It's like Russian roulette. You're basically, you're going to raid someone and all of a sudden you get a clip. It's either me talking about the bottle people, something entertaining like the fight with the Onikuma. Sorry, the Onikuma! Or it's just me saying the word penis, which happened once and somebody clipped it. And all of a sudden it's just, it gets pulled out every so often And when I raid somebody's channel. I mean, it's entertaining, don't get me wrong, but still. Right, we've now killed the Frug, so we can remove that from the map. I'll keep that on the map. Ah, uh, the thing down there, and I cannot be bothered running to it. So we're going to actually use the auto build for a moment. Oh. <laughs> oh, thanks, Turbo. Oh, thank you. That's what I. That's what I'm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna delete it because, of course, it's a clip that the community's made. But thanks to, I'm going. The next time I raid somebody, I'm probably going to see that clip now, aren't I? Has the laundry clip come up yet? Uh, ooh, no, no. Maybe once. Maybe I think it might have come up on one of Nintendo streams, but I could be imagining things. It's certainly come up on Twitter, uh, X, whatever it is these days. It's certainly come up on there <laughs> at least once because I posted it, but still. The bottle people clip hasn't come up yet. That does remind me at some point, maybe over Christmas when I get the opportunity, I need to go through and uh, pull a few more clips for the community compilation. Not that I ever get particularly stellar views on them, but it's nice to just throw together something that the community's put together rather than just me. Ah, uh, it's a talus. No, it's not. It's a Hinox. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, that was good. It's Twitter. Yes, it is. Well, <laughs> well, I don't have that player clip bang thing active, so you're safe with me. That's good. I'm safe with most people, to be honest. Not that I raid people, I'm quite picky on who I raid. Um, uh, well, so much for the Master Sword. You can tell I'm starting to run out of weapons. Oh, he says as he gets a couple of royal weapons. <laughs> Perfect. Right, let's start patching up some of my blasted inventory then. Um... You know what? I'm going to have this as one of my emergency backups. It's not perfect, but I suppose it'll do. Right, cool. And I can mark that high knocks is done as well. Fun! Oh, where to next? 
that said, Alpha Centauri in honor of Venus coming soon. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Right, okay, sure. Uh, right, that's a Talus we've defeated. That's a Talus we've defeated. I'll keep the swords and stuff for the moment on the principle of at least... If I desperately need decent weapons, I can always hunt them down. Um... Also means I can mark more Korok seeds on the map, though, let's face it, at this point, even if I mark all the Korok seeds down, I've still got enough stamps because there's only like 55 left. I continue working my way down the west part of the map, or do I work my way to the ones that are close to I suppose I'll work my way down the west side of the map. I have a lot of mini-bosses that I have not killed yet. Right, if I go there, I can get to that skull there. No. I think you can start getting rid of the markers. Well, I'll feel more comfortable getting... Oh, there we go. 141 shrines and 100 and something like that. I'll feel more comfortable getting rid of the markers once I start, once I've got through the Lionel stuff. Once I've got all the gear upgraded, that's my cue to basically not worry so much. I've only kept the markers there for the time being, just for the sake of farming bits for the inventory. You know, uh, Lionel horns and other monstrous things. That said, once we get to the point of we've used all of our silver once we don't need the silver lionel stuff anymore that we fully upgraded the armor and bits that need the silver lionel then i will freely start destroy i will freely start burning through my inventory of um, strong parts the master sword's going to be max level by the end for the final fight with gandalf i can tell you that much at least there's max levels i can manage in this game um for among the residents of Dark City, there was one who revealed all. I speak, of course, of Gary. He of the dirty trench coat and very little else. But alas, it was not Dark City that we know of. No, this Dark City was known in time memorial by another name that of Night City before the fall of the great Arasaka. The rise of the mighty Johnny, and the destruction of all under the hands of the one known as V. For hmm. Vendetta, I hear. Anyone. <laughs> Gary should have had more of a, que a quest line to follow. I'll be seeing him in a month, probably, when I try streaming Cyberpunk 2077 1.0. As I have the disc for PS4. Marvelous. Remember the dancing guy from Yakuza 0? Yes! Yes, I do! Mr. Labido! <laughs> ah, Mr. Labido. <laughs> Who the voice actor actually did all the mo-cap uh, mo for naked so there we are well in his underwear so we'll we'll take small blessings where uh, not small no no I, that, that's the wrong word <laughs> take blessings where we can take them i suppose right uh there should be a mini boss somewhere around here Hoping it's not another Franks. Because to be fair, I really need some more weapons rather than Zonite. It's a forest. Going to be a frog. It's a. Oh, son of a. It's blue white Franks as well.
the dickens? Got it! Awesome. Another thing I hate is that every... Yes, the sword is hitting the ore that damages the frogs, but the sword is also hitting the frogs' body, and I'm 99% sure that as the sword hits the frog's body, the game still counts that as a hit. And therefore, it takes away from my weapon durability. And that really annoys me. Much like having to collect frog's parts out of pools of gloom. You can take big blessings with the Bond job. Oh, Gordon Bennett. I'm not going to be able to forget about that for a while, am I? Right. <laughs> oh, well, if I don't laugh, I cry, I suppose. Um. Okay, Minoru, I think that's most of the stone I covered. Let's go and steal some from over here. Ah, well, so much for our speed boost. <coughs> Surely I must be one of the few idiots left who's still trying to 100% this game. Nope, no, I didn't think so. Oh, well, 318 zone eye, that works. Cool. Also, we can now remove this blue white bronx from the map because I don't. Oh. The blue white bronx was already removed from the map. Oh, it wasn't? It's there. No, I've just. Oh, what of a mini. Like fine. Well, oh dungeon map, oh dungeon map, right? That blue white. Yes, yes, you are indeed. Um, I don't know where. Battled. No, no, I think. Ravi. No, I must have done because that was list. No. Yes, no, that was list as a uh, an ore, wasn't it? Okay, that's. I don't think I've done this frost talus, however. Ah. Then there is another Bronx down here. And that. Oh, a Hinox. Right, I've done that. No, wait. Or have I? I think I've done those already, haven't I? Yes, because I took the um, stamps off, didn't I? Right, never mind then. So that's fine. There is... All there that I haven't done. Ah, it's a talus. Okay, fair enough. Um... Oh no, I've got the lookout chasm as well. Okay. You know what? Nah, shut up. Sega can get get in the bin. If you want a new game plus an infinite wealth, you've got to buy the deluxe edition. Really? Really? That's... Really? That's like with Breath of the Wild having Master Mode come as a later DLC. It's just, what nonsense is that? And I'm still going to buy the game, but you know, wow. Then again, it's not often I play New Game Plus. Hmm. Apart from maybe I'll do an Arkham City at some point now that I've got it working on my Steam Deck. Either way, right, all in all, oh, that's the time. Okay, well, with that said, I think what I might do is we will warp here. Also, my chair has developed a squeak. Marvellous.
Creed got Sega 2, yes, but at least Sega is still releasing games, not whatever Activision is doing at the minute. After I looked into the nonsense that they're pulling with uh, Modern Warfare 3. Right, anyway, so, current plan of action. As much as I want to move on to wrapping up Akala, because let's face it, we get the Twilight Tunic and then we can finish that section of the map and finish off quite a lot of stuff. And I've got a lot of... Okay, at some point we need to go through all of these map icons and start clearing down a bunch of the mini-bosses and stuff on this map as well. That's going to be entertaining. What I think I'm going to do is, at least for the next stream, maybe, or two, because I've not got the Saturday stream, but we are here for Tuesday. Sorry, I've not got the Saturday evening. We'll have the Saturday afternoon. I think what we'll do on the next stream, though, is I think I'm going to go through and start whittling down a lot of the stamps down here. It is starting to look a bit cleaner now, at least in this corner of the map where we've started deleting some of the superfluous stamps. So we'll start clearing down what skulls we can, maybe start farming a few more decent weapons because, let's face it, after the few bronks we've fought, I'm starting to run low on weapons. Maybe try a run of the Lionel Coliseum while using some of our Zonai devices to give us an upper hand. I don't know about that, but we'll see. And then, yeah, we'll clear, yeah, just a game of clearing as much of the depths as we can, at least in terms of the mini boss load. And then after that, we go up into Akala, do the Akala of the Sky, do the final set of Korok seeds, finally get them off the books. Finish the Akala of the Depths, though in Furnace, I think I've got like two light routes left. And then that's it no it isn't it no we won't have finished the korok seeds will we because i've still got some on the blasted thunderhead i think okay we do the akala seeds then we do the sky in the depths and then we go back to the main story do whatever it is for kakaraku village then we can move on to getting the last of the armor sets, the last of the Korok seeds. Then we move on to farming the materials, the remaining materials we need for our armor set upgrades. We also need to finish the sub stories, which I'll probably do after the armor sets, just so I can make use of everything. And then it's the end game. Once we've finished all of the sub-stories, once we've made sure Hyrule is safe. That's it. Then we're into the end game. Blimey. But anyway, before then, we will save the game. Save the game. Uh, da -da 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 Deluxe Edition isn't that much more expensive, and I always try to buy the Deluxe games. Shame it isn't the base game. No, that's it is a shame it's not the base game. Also, uh, first it was the slowly bringing in the paid day one DLC for stuff. That would usually be in their games. And now this. I'm really not thinking, uh, liking this direction. I haven't liked this direction of AAA games for a long time, but it... Well, it's probably why I don't buy AAA games most of the time, to be honest. But hey ho, anyway, with that said, I did say it right. Uh, yes, with that said, we will continue this next time. Oops, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Final countdown as well. One, uh, 141 shrines, 114 light routes, and whatever the Korok Seed is, because we've not actually touched the Korok Seeds at all this stream. So... There we go. I can't remember how many light routes we've got. I think it's 120 light routes or something, so I've probably still got about six light routes left to do in a Carla. That's fine. I can live with that. Anyway, there we have it. So, Super Giant is nice. Be more like Super Giant. Yes. Anyway, with that said, yeah, there we go. So we're getting there. We are getting there. Very slowly, but 
big one will probably be the so long as I can manage it. I don't know what life's gonna throw at me, but so long as I can manage it, we'll do the full we'll do our usual stupidly long stream on New Year's Eve from I think it's seven o'clock all the way up to midnight. So that'll give us plenty of time to work through a lot of this game. But you know what? Over Christmas, I think we might stand a chance of getting very close to the end of this game. Finish it, doubt it, but we'll stand a good chance of getting very close to the end of this game. And then, early in the new year, we can start a new game! Which is great, considering we've been playing this since, what, June? Ah, uh, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah, yeah, about June, June-ish time we've been playing this. Eleven shrines left. It means eleven, maybe less, uh, light routes. But anyway, with that said, if you're new here, hi, I'm Ezio. It's a pleasure to meet you. If you enjoyed what you saw, well, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that follow button, but the decision will always be yours. If you ever want to catch me live, well, I'll be right back here on Saturday at hopefully 2 o'clock UK time. Might be 3 o'clock. Don't know. If you've not joined the Discord server, exclamation mark Discord in the chat. That will take you to the link to the Discord server, that's where I usually put out my notifications. I'll also try and put it on Twitter, X, whatever the dickens it is nowadays, which is linked in the panels down below. Mentioning that, also linked in the panels down below, is the YouTube archive, which contains a playlist of every game, well, contains playlists, even, of every game, every journey, as I call them, that we've ever been on here on this channel, from our 450 plus episodes of Breath of the Wild, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, even. What number are we on at the minute? Oh, give me a minute. 450, exactly. Woo. 450 episodes of this playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, as well as our full run through of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on Master Mode, with all the DLC done, every Korok seed found. I, I, that, was a, that was a long journey. Not as long as this one, though. Let's just leave it at that. Anyway, I think that's everything. Everything apart from a thank you to each and every one of you. Be your chatter, be your lurker, be you watching live here on Twitch or in the YouTube archives. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey this evening. Thank you for joining me as we've travelled through the world of this certainly fascinating game. And most of all, thank you for spending a little bit of your life here with me on the channel. It means the world. It always will do. And it always does. Now, let's see if we have enough to pay the good vibes forward, though in all honesty, I should probably be smart and go to bed. And... Let's see who we have on the raid list. Da, 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 da. Oh, big streamers, big streamers, big streamers, and big streamers. Okay. Oh, no, oh, no, the waifu will not pull me in. Okay, in that case, I shall just call it here. So, oh, and of course, sorry, I. how could I forget? A massive thank you to the mighty Turbo Drive Live. Thank you very much for the raid, sir. You, sir, are always, and as always, and will always be a boss. Thank you, Taylor. Right, anyway, with that said, with that done, all I have to say is, until our paths next cross again, may you all have a beautiful evening, morning, or afternoon, wherever it is around this whole wide world you are. And see you again next time.